Kathy Pickering. Thank you for joining me. I want my, my audience talking with Kathy Pickering. She's from H&R Block. She's the chief tax officer. Kathy, it's your time to shine. It's your time of year. Tell me what what are you talking about in taxes this year? What do you know is going to be happening? <sighs> It is tax season, and we are just busy, busy, busy. So there is less than 50 days until April 15th. It's time to get filing. I think it's a good time of year, but everybody may not feel like that. What are some of the benefits of filing early? Some of the benefits of filing early are, first, it locks your Social Security number with the IRS which prevents a fraudster from being able to steal your information and file a false return. The second thing is that returns get processed in the order that they were received. So the sooner you file, the sooner you're going to get your refund. And the third thing is it gives you a little bit more time to pay if you ended up having a little bit of a balance due. Okay. Tell us some things we learned there. Tell me, what is a gig worker? Tell me about that. So gig workers are folks who uh, are are self-employed and use Etsy or Venmo or their rideshare drivers, those kinds of things. The big thing that they need to know this year is that there's been a delay in implementing the lower thresholds for reporting. So... Now what that means is that for platforms like Etsy and Venmo, they don't have to report your income unless you made more than $20,000 this year. In the future, starting in 2025, that threshold will be $5,000. So this gives everybody a little bit more time to prepare. I also wanted to go back and talk a little bit about some of the tax changes that people need to know about. So first thing is there's been updated tax brackets. They were adjusted for inflation. And what we're seeing is that people are getting slightly larger refunds this year. So that's good news. The second thing is there are electric vehicle credits. So if somebody bought an electric vehicle, new or used, you may be eligible for up to $7,500 in tax credits. And the third thing is that the child tax credit is currently being evaluated for expansion. And people are wondering what's going to happen. When is it going to go into effect? And what we tell people is you don't need to wait. You don't need those answers. You can go ahead and file your return right now with the IRS. And if this gets passed, they're going to go ahead and automatically adjust your refund and send you any additional money if you're eligible for it. That's great. I've got a question from, I think this one comes from Instagram, and it's related to taxes. They want to know, as more and more people are taking care of their parents, either moving them into their particular home or caring for their parents 100% financially, Where do they go to see if there are any incentives for this? So this is a great question, and we know that there are lots of people right now that are caring for elderly parents, whether it's in their home or they're in a nursing home, and they're providing more than 50% of their care, which means they may be eligible for things like the other dependent credit or caregiving expenses and things like that. And there's just a lot of tax benefits that are available to people now in these really tough and trying situations. So that's a fantastic question. And I would direct people to go to hrblock.com because we have a lot of information on tax tips, tax changes, and how to get those specific kinds of questions answered. Kathy Pickering, this has been a great information session with you. Thank you so very much during your busy season to stop by the Valderbibi Show live out of Dallas, Texas. We really appreciate it. Thank you. My pleasure. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show. We have over 1,000 videos on ValderBeebeShow.com and YouTube.com slash Show. We upload new videos daily. 
Our site is a modern baby boomer platform with news and information important to boomers. Subscribe to youtube.com slash show and stay connected as I interview the world's most fascinating people.